You are watching a master at work. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this. This is Sam Prentice Makes Things Happen. I'm Sam Prentice back once again making it happen. And I'm very excited to tell you that today Anycubic have launched a new 3D printer. In fact, it's called the Cobra Plus. So that now means we've got the Anycubic Viper FDM printer. We've got the Cobra. We've got the Cobra Plus and we've got the Cobra Max, which you would have just seen me review very, very recently. So... I'm very excited about this new printer. It's looking like it's a 300 by 300 by 350, I believe. And uh, we're also going live on a live stream with Anycubic on the 15th of June. So make sure you check that one out when it comes in live and unleashed. Uh, I'm going to be going through all the uh, great things and not so great things about this 3D printer. I've had it for a couple of weeks. Now the box is literally just here. And uh, don't forget, guys, hit that subscribe button. Smash a little like because those algorithms are very, very important to me. And obviously YouTube as well. So keep it locked in, guys. This is going to be a good one. Let's get straight on into it. So what do we have here then? The Cobra Plus is a 300 by 300 by 350 build volume with a Bowden style setup. The Lev IQ is a 25 point bed leveling system along with Carborandum bed, filament run out sensor, 32 bit motherboard with silent stepper drivers. So the name first and foremost is quite an interesting one as many believe that the range should have been called Viper and should have been Viper related. But the questionable evolution does seem to have evolved with new boards and vast improvements to the range of printers as time has gone on. You might remember the Viper leveling sensor issue that I had way back on version 1 which was swiftly updated and replaced. Since then of course and certainly with the new range of Cobras the leveling sensors have been vastly improved and I'm pleased to report that actually all of these work really really well. So apart from any cubic's identity crisis let's have a look at the specs of these printers. So coming in first and actually having the smallest build of 220x220x250 220 220 is the Anycubic Cobra. Now this is slightly different because it does have a different head on it. It's got direct drive, it's got Lev IQ with a 25 point bed leveling surface and it has a PIE sheet. And that's quite important because we're going to come onto that a little bit later on. So next up we have the Anycubic Viper. We have a Bowden setup. This has got double limit switches, auto bed leveling at 16 points, a PIE sheet and a build volume of 245x245x260. Now Again, we have a PIE sheet on this particular one, and the other two printers that follow this also have the Viper uh, head, and Bowden setup is exactly the same in the next two printers. So next up, the new kid on the block is the Cobra Plus, which again is a Bowden setup with Lev IQ, 25 point bed leveling with the Carborandum glass bed. Now this is a 300 by 300 by 350 build volume, and I think this is gonna be a firm favorite. And finally, and certainly not to be understated, the Cobra Max, which is a which is a Bowden setup with Lev IQ, 25 point bed leveling, carborandum bed, and 400 by 400 by 450. <laughs> Right, let's wait a second, let's address the carborandum bed. Now some of you will know that I've worked with Anycubic a lot in the past. In fact, I have many of the older printers along with the new ones. Now if you head back to the original Viper launch, one of the USPs on the Viper was the PIE bed. Now I'm pretty old school and I actually like printing on glass, but the Viper bed for me was great. So much so that I actually swapped out many of my beds to PIE. So what is the carborandum bed? Well, in simple terms, you take a glass bed, then add a thin layer of silicon carbide, which helps the adhesive layer retain the print. However, on many of these style beds, I always seem to be able to take part of the bed occasionally with me on some prints. And that's happened in this case. So with that particular issue, I could do one or two things. I could replace the bed for another one of those style beds, or as I opted for, take a trip over to Amazon and actually buy a PIE bed. And as always, I will pop the link in the description below. And this bed is a super easy one to install. All you do is you lay the magnetic strip down and pop the bed straight on top and the results are in and they are absolutely fabulous. This is actually a Viper bed as well. Just showing, showing you a bit of comparison there. Uh, check the Amazon link out if you choose to do so. Replacing the bed also means that we can now lose those metal clips. I do take issue with these metal clips being used on 3D printers as they could potentially cause a short between the 24 volt heated bed and the metal build plate. We've seen this in the past with Creality machines. However, Anycubic have been very clear in their instructions on which way round these clips need to be onto the grass plate, apparently. But just make sure when you're installing this bed that you put these the right way round. 
So I will say that Anycubic have come up with a fantastic range of 3D printers. In fact, the only one that I'm yet to try is the Cobra, the stock Cobra with the direct drive. And that would be an interesting one for me due to the amount of flexibles that I tend to sort of print. And of course, the alternative type of bed leveling, which would be an interesting one to test. Let's watch this space and see what happens. But the important thing is, what do the prints look like? So as an offering from Anycubic, this range of four FDM 3D printers do offer a cost-effective alternative to some of their competitors. But like we've seen many, many times before with new printers that are currently on the market, they seem to be the same old, same old, auto bed leveling, senseless homing, and so on, are nice things to have, but is there really anything on these that actually stand out? Some of the elements that I'm slightly disappointed with on these printers are the flexible build plate offering, direct drive options on all of these models, and the heads not simply being interchangeable. I think that that sounds like a great idea. Anycubic hop swappable print heads, please, please make that happen. On pricing, of course, the Cobra and the Viper come in around about $271, all the way up to $569 for the max, depending on the deals and the shipping locations. Talking specifically about the Anycubic Cobra Plus, the build volume should be enough print area for medium-sized items. So cosplay elements out of the box as well for a first-time experience. It was to be as expected from a manufacturer that's been in the game since 2015. The 3D printing room that you are working in, or in my case recording in, with almost silent stepper drivers means the noise is kept to a minimum and it doesn't disturb anybody else in the house. The motherboard in this printer is a Trigorilla Pro, which is an A version 1.0.4, which is actually the same board as the Max, running 24 volts along with non-removable stepper drivers. The classic tinned cables instead of ferrule connectors might be worth an upgrade, and I did have some concerns over the mains voltage cable that ran into the power supply, but Anycubic have confirmed that the size is correct for the voltage supplied. So this is the Wex to Huggy Wuggy file, which I really love. It's printed in Anycubic PLA, and as you can see, the print is almost flawless. A bit of tuning and Cura profile updates, and this will be printing like a dream. I'll pop a link into Wexter's Patreon site in the links below. So this, just like the Max, we have a Z-axis synchronized belt, basically keeping the Z in sync. Belt tensioners are on the X and Y, and are very easily adjustable should you need to. The small SD cards, in my opinion, are a step back, as the Viper did have the larger type, and also the USB-A port again, it's a little bit dated. USB-C is certainly the way forward. And on the firmware, the printer Z steps are still at 0.5, where the community have been asking for 0.1. Uh, I don't know why the community aren't being listened to, but those changes will hopefully happen in future revisions. So out of the four Anycubic printers that they are currently marketing, I do believe that the Plus is probably gonna be one of those more popular ones, mainly because it's kind of the mid-range printer. It's certainly a lot smaller than the Max, because the Max is huge, and of course, the Cobra is actually a bit small, but each of these printers do have positives and negatives. The Plus and the Max are kind of very, very similar in build quality, but we are still limited by things like the bed, but the quality of the prints, and this is gonna be the most important thing, is absolutely lovely, and especially on uh, models like this, and this was a, uh, a few days worth of printing here. I'm very, very impressed with how these things have come out, straight out of the box as well, very minimal tuning. And again, make sure you do link up with the Facebook groups as well for the Cobra and the Cobra Plus. You'll find a bunch of resources on there, and including things like firmware when it becomes updated, and also other people's prints and what they're up to, including this guy who is Nate Hess. Fair play to you, Nate. This is an awesome print. There's really only one more thing for me to say is thank you once again to Anycubic for sending me these range of printers for my review. Uh, my reviews are open and honest, they're not paid for in any way, they do supply the printers free of charge usually to me, and uh, then I go on to make different things, robotics and bits and pieces like that, so make sure you hit that subscribe button because I've got some really, really cool robotic racers that are going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks and working with Joel Telling and a bunch of other people it's going to be super super cool I'm heading out to Chicago to go and see the uh, Murph Rep Rep Festival for the very first time so that's going to be incredible uh, also on the 15th of June we have got a live stream with Anycubic so make sure you keep it locked in with that I'd like to know your comments your queries your questions anything like that goes down below make sure you check out the links as well and we will see you next time bye for now let's break it off the bed shall we There you go, straight off the bed. <laughs> and this is this uh, fabulous print. So I'm just gonna do a bit of clean up on the supports here and uh, let's see what we got. You are watching a master at work.